Hi, I'm Ted with Dialysis Dry Systems. Today, we're going to show you how to eliminate leaks from dialysis cabinets that can leave wet areas on the floor and unsanitary and hazardous conditions for the patients and staff within your center. It begins with the installation of the dialysis dry tray system. Let's take a look at how it works. Our system includes the exclusive DDS interceptor tray that extends across the cabinet interior, covering all the essential connection points where a leak could possibly begin. And when this happens, the DDS tray catches and drains these liquids into the existing drainage system, keeping the floor of your treatment areas clean, safe, and dry. And installation is simple. The system includes the DDS interceptor tray, a reinforced panel, machine screws, and illustrated instructions. So, let's get started. Here, we have a standard dialysis chase cabinet with the supply and waste box on the front and a top entry. To begin, we'll be removing the supply and waste box on the front of the cabinet. But first, open the top lid and, looking inside the cabinet, close all the valves of the tubing connected to the back side of the supply and waste box. You'll find them here, 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 and here. Then, label each of the tubes for reinstallation so you're sure each tube will be connected to the right port. Once all the tubing is labeled, disconnect each tube from the back of the supply and waste box. This may take a few minutes, but once this is done, loosely tie the tubes off to the side for interior clearance. Now from the exterior, remove the four screws that attach the supply and waste box to the front of the unit, then set it aside. Next, we will install the supplied reinforced panel. The panel should be installed with the textured side facing out. Start by inserting it horizontally through the opening at the top of the cabinet. Then curl the panel when it reaches the bottom and slide it behind the distribution piping located on the back side of the cabinet. Now, with the panel correctly positioned, it's time to install the DDS interceptor tray. Like the reinforced panel, insert the tray into the cabinet through the top opening and be sure the tray drainage pipe is near the front of the cabinet. To move the tray into its proper position, place the tray drainage pipe into the existing drain pipe located underneath the, temporarily removed, supply and waste box. You'll see that the tray matches the depth of the cabinet interior. So slide the lip on the back side of the tray underneath and behind the reinforced panel. This will assure proper drainage from any possible leaks or condensation from the existing distribution pipes on the back wall. Now it's time to attach the tray into position. But first, check to make sure the top edges of the tray are level and the tray drainage pipe extends down into the existing drain pipe one inch with at least a one quarter inch clearance between the bottom of the tray and the top of the existing drain pipe. With the tray in the correct position, mark the center location of the tray's pre-drilled holes on the front wall of the cabinet. After that, take each of the self-starting screws and with a screw gun, drill the screws into the center of the marked locations on the cabinet wall. The supplied screws are stainless steel and will not corrode under damp conditions. With all of the screws in place, the tray should be securely mounted to the cabinet's interior. But for maximum stability, you can also attach the tray to the back wall. And if the depth of your cabinet happens to be more narrow, notify us when ordering and we can provide a custom modification for your project. Or you can do the modification on site by trimming the back side of the tray to fit. After the tray and panel are securely in place, insert the dialysis supply and waste box back into the front opening of the cabinet. When doing this, make sure the supply and waste box drain pipe extends down at least one inch into the drain opening of the interceptor tray, then reattach the screws supporting the supply and waste box. The final step is reconnecting all tubing to the correct ports on the back side of the dialysis supply and waste box. Here, it's always a good idea to follow the labels and make sure each of the lines are connected to the right port. Now that all the lines are properly connected, you can see how the DDS interceptor tray extends across the interior, creating a safeguard under all connections that could cause a potential leak. 
One note to keep in mind, after completing an installation, it may be necessary to disinfect the dialysis plumbing lines before continuing any patient treatments. So, there you have it. In less than an hour, the dialysis dry tray system can be installed in each of your wall stations, eliminating potential hazards and creating a clean, safe, and dry environment for your patients, staff, and treatment center. To find out more about dialysis dry systems, contact Dialysis Dry at 855-662-2600 or email us at sales at dialysisdry.com. Also, you can visit us online at www.dialysisdry.com.